Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the definition and some examples of signals. A signal can be defined as an information bearing physical quantity that is carried via a medium. Here the medium is usually a physical medium such as air or empty space and signals are mathematically represented by using functions of either one or multiple independent variables. These independent variables are usually time, space, etc. The signal has three important characteristics. The first one is an independent variable of which it is a function and then there is a physical quantity which is a function of this independent variable and finally this physical quantity basically represents a pattern or it carries information about the real world. Some examples of signals are speech signal which is represented by acoustic pressure as a function of time, a picture which is represented as brightness which is again a function of space, a two dimensional space. Finally, weather patterns which can be represented by for example wind versus height. So let us look at the graphical representation of some signals. Here we see a speech signal which is function of time. Here the physical quantity is the acoustic pressure and the information or pattern is the speech itself that is what we understand and the independent variable is time. Next we see precipitation. Here the physical quantity is the amount of water or amount of rain which is measured either in inches or millimeters and the independent variable is usually again time which is measured in order of days or in this case seasons and it basically represents the amount of precipitation or rainfall coming from the uh, clouds and finally this example shows the ECG signal which is basically voltage versus time as measured by the ECG equipment. It basically represents the electrical signal corresponding to the heartbeat. Here the independent variable is of course the time measured in either milliseconds and then the quantity is the voltage which is a function of this time and finally it represents the ECG. Thus we can look at the different characteristics of the signals. Thanks for watching.